exciting. So welcome to you all. Um, and I'm just, you know, it, it, somebody's basically shared this opportunity or to come and have a look at this opportunity with you because they're really excited about what's going on with this company. And today we're going to talk about iBoomerang um, and we're going to talk about home-based businesses, you know, and home-based businesses are actually a $200 billion industry. Yeah, they're absolutely huge. It's actually bigger than the music industry and the film industry put together. And we're going to share with you today why iBoomerang is the fastest growing home-based business within that sector. So if you believe in multiple income streams and having more than one stream of income, put your hands up now. I mean, basically, it's a no-brainer in these day, these day and ages. We all need multiple streams of income. Um, and also, if you love to, love to travel, put your hand up as well. You know, you're absolutely in the right place. So I'm going to share with you, you know, why we're so different why we're standing out from the crowd, why no one else has got what we've got, we've got something very, very unique, and why we're breaking all records. And um, the first quick introduction about me, I'm Beverly. Um, I've been in corporate most of my life. It got me to Australia 20 years ago, and you know I was always build, working for somebody else and building somebody else's wealth. Working the nine to five, more like the eight to eight. Um, I always wanted my own business, but I wanted more out of life, but I never wanted all what I considered to be the headaches, you know? managing staff, stock, shop, accounts, logistics, et cetera, and being really a jack of all trades. So I got introduced to this industry seven years ago, um, and I was really amazed. You know, they basically did everything, and all I did was share something that I really loved. And I, I was introduced to a product-based um, company. Um, I trans moved back to the UK, um, I lived, obviously I lived in Australia for 20 years, moved back to the, to the UK uh, about three years ago, and, um, you know, basically because the product based company I was working with launched over here. Um, but there was a couple of things that were issues for me within that. Um, I was working really, really hard and the remuneration really wasn't where I wanted it to be. Um, and I see success as getting my team paid and that wasn't happening. So when I, um, you know, I love the freedom of it, the fact I could work around the world wherever I wanted to. Um, and, you know, I literally have got my overheads, literally a mobile phone and a computer. Um, but, you know, so I was introduced to it by to iBoomerang last December and really, really was very, very excited. You know, it's like a service based product, um, service based industry um, rather than product based. Um, and, you know, iBoomerang at the moment has just been a year old. It was um, it was basically founded March last year, done 40 million dollars worth of sales. We're in 180 countries already um, and we're still in beta test mode. And that really excites me, you know, because. To be in the beginning of what I consider to be Amazon is absolutely the Amazon for services rather than products is absolutely really cool. So, you know, for me, it's a, like I look at it like, um, you know, would I prefer to be in Amazon when it was two dollars a share or when it's two thousand dollars a share when it's, you know, just starting or when it's absolutely perfect. And for me, being in something at the beginning is absolutely um, very exciting. And, you know, you really are in the, in the hot seat. So who are I Boomerang? Um, I describe it as a pioneering tech industry disruptor. Uh, and what do I mean by that? You know, it, to me, it's what Uber's done to the taxi industry. It's what Airbnb has done to the hotels industry. It's what Netflix has done to the way we watch television um, and Amazon to retail and sales. You know, iBoomerang's doing the same for the network marketing industry and travel. And now you might have perceived ideas or an experience, whether it's a friend or yourself about network marketing or affiliate marketing, MLM, direct sales, whatever you want to call it. But all I just say to you is give us half an hour, be open minded. This is very, very different from anything else out there. And no, there is no selling required if you don't want to, you know, so just to be open minded. And this is about you getting paid by helping other people save money on services that they're already buying. So, you know, we all believe in multiple income streams, you know, to, you know, in these days, really the idea of having one bus, one company doing the nine to five have really gone and the pandemic's really made people think differently. Um, finances are tight for a lot of people and they're looking at other ways of making money and home-based businesses, where is everybody at the moment? They're at home. So that's why it's, it's working so well. Um, the news the other day, it said that 25 million people are going to be, you know, um, unemployed at the end of the pandemic. So people are looking for other ways. Uh, a friend of mine was furloughed. You know, he said to me, Beverly, I've actually got another four hours extra in my day now because I'm not commuting. You know, my lunch breaks are my time. Um, you know, I don't chat as much I just get on with what I'm doing so you know his choice is he can be able to be productive and build something for his future or treat it as a holiday you know or watch Netflix so you know he's really using it in a productive manner um, so online businesses like ours are absolutely booming you know Amazon 
um, quoted the other day, $22 billion in increased in sales. And we've basically had a 12% increase in our business in March. So we are, you know, bucking the trend of most people and are on the increase. Um, and there's a credible trade publication called, um, actually it's online called businessesforhome.org. Um, and we're number one out of 500 companies in terms of growth and of the top five purely internet businesses, we're recommended as the number one to join. So that's what, you know, basically the, a bit of background about iBoomgram. That's why we're so excited to be here. And we're very excited that you're here to, to listen to this as well. Before I get started, I just want to do a bit of a disclaimer, you know, as with anything in life, any business, anything, it's really up to you um, how this works, um, depending on the time, the commitment level, et cetera, that you've input into it. Um, you know, we've got proven systems and processes to plug you into. So we show you how to do it. It's very, very um, you know, foolproof in terms of what we've got. Uh, and I actually assimilated to going to the gym. You know, we all go to the gym. We've all got the same equipment there. We can choose what we do with it. We can work out five or six or four times a week and get the body we want to, or we can basically go and go a couple of times and chat and nothing happens. So it really does depend on, you know, how, how you treat it. So it's time for network marketing to evolve. It's actually time for all businesses to evolve. You know, you look at the technology technological advances um, that are giving increased efficiencies and businesses really need to look at that you know we talked about the companies that have really um, shown this and at the head of the curve and okay, um, at the wave like the ubers the amazons even the dysons the apples etc are really you know technology driven and the companies that haven't shown that uh, you know, blockbuster blackberry thomas cooks the laura laura ashley's etc car, car phone warehouse and there's probably going to be a few more coming out by the end of the pandemic um, network marketing itself hasn't changed for about 60 years, you know, and for those of you not quite sure what we mean by network marketing, it is very, very simply a referral based business. So it's marketing um, products um, through a network of people versus retail, and we get paid a commission for referring. Now, we're all very, very natural referrers. You know, if you go um, to a great restaurant, you tell your mates about it. If you go, for example, if the new Bond movie comes out, um, I might be thinking, oh, well, you know, I'll go get around to seeing that one day. But if a friend comes up to me and says, Beverly, Daniel Craig is amazing. You've got to go and see him. I will absolutely be putting that date to go and see that movie in my diary um, ASAP. So I don't get paid for that. He doesn't get paid for recommending it to, to me. So at the end of the day, you know, it's just it's basically free referrals rather than getting paid for them. Um, the two things that didn't work for me as well in uh, traditional product based network marketing was duplication getting people to do what, what I was doing. So, you know, 97% of people don't like selling, put your hand up, you don't like following up and selling, me, me too. And the second thing was retention. You know, the, the retention of products is on average for all uh, product-based network marketing is three months, 79 days to be precise. Um, so I literally was, you know, having enrolled a lot of people and continue enrolling, popping people in the top of the bucket, literally 79 days later, they were falling out the bottom. So it was just like being Groundhog Day and being on that, you know, rat, rat, that rat wheel of life going, is this ever going to end? So, you know, it wasn't really what I would consider true residual income. It was income as long as I put a lot of work in for it. So it's time for us to, to evolve. What we're offering is a first class customer experience for customers. We actually have a customer amazement department and success without selling for ambassadors. So ambassadors are like the likes of myself and Rob who are presenting today. Um, we have basically chosen to do the business side, but you don't have to do that either. You can you can um, choose choose the various options, which we'll talk about at the end. So we're taking the industry from the taxi cab era where customers pay more, and I was talking before, only the strong recruiters win, as in people who could sell, through into the modern era, where, you know, when I first read this, we only make money when our customers save money. I was like, can that really be true? You know, we only make money when customers, that, that is just amazing, you know, because normally you only make money when you sell um, a lot of product, or, you know, you might, the company's results are really good, therefore you get a bonus at the end of the year, but we make money when customers save money. So, and it's, you know, it is basically through, um, you know, technological advances. So all of a sudden, you know, the technology has allowed everyone to have a, a same, um, similar um, starting place in terms of a level playing field for where they start in this business. So who's um, actually brought this to the market? It's a guy called Holton Bugs. Um, I've never heard of him when I joined um, in, in December, but he's actually the CEO and chairman of iBoomerang. And he actually started his um, career in this industry in 1990. 
And for seven years, he basically earned less than $500 a month. Now that is not a lot in network marketing terms. Um, you know, $500 is not, but he didn't give up. He was very tenacious and he basically developed systems and formulas. And as we all know, like systems duplicate, people don't. So he basically got these formulas and systems sorted. So he knew what, knew what he was done and doing and he's brought those to this company. And between 2009 and 2019, um, he actually um, made over $100 million, yes, $100 million in 10 years. And he supported over 45 people make a million. So the guy knows what he's doing. You know, he's got the systems, he's got the formulas, and he's proven to himself he can do it. So the idea of him actually coming on board and actually um, creating iBoomerang was very, very, you know, very exciting. He really is like the Michael Jordan, I would say, of network marketing. His highest month was $3.2 million, and his average was about one3 so, you know, it's just, um, yeah, he's got, he's got all the skill set. And it was really important me having come from a corporate background to know um, who he's brought with him and who's, who's key and who's on the team. Um, so we've got T. Gray and Edwin Haynes here, um, both very, very experienced network marketers, excellent trainers as well. We've got Mark Keithcart, um, the company that I used to work for um, was WPP in, in advertising. So, I'm, you know, he used to work for the same company. And then we've got um, David Manning and Laurie Spears here. Now, they're both from Extreme Travel, and I'm going to talk about them later, but Extreme Travel, very successful travel company um, that uh, does over a billion dollars of sales and um, has been going for 20 years. And then we've got Peter hirsch here, who's the Chief Giving Officer. We've got basically the Boom Foundation, um, which I love, you know, the fact that we're giving back as well. And this, this is about giving um, malnutritioned children good nutrition. So how do we bring this to the world? It all starts with something called the PRIB. And the PRIB is absolutely unique. Nobody else in this industry has it, right? And when you can understand what this can do for your business, you seriously won't sleep. Um, it's perpetually working for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, essentially building residual income for you. So residual income, you know, it's where you do the work once and you get paid for it again and again. So Beyonce is my favorite example. So Beyonce does a, makes a record and every time it gets played, she gets a royalty. So with us, literally, we put a customer into the PRIB and every time they buy something, we get a commission. That's only one customer. So you can imagine if you've got 100 or 1,000 and we're going to talk about how exciting this is later on. So we've always been putting the work into building our own residual income, but never before um, has there been a tool that's continued to do it for us, you know? So I, I've got a team at the moment in America and Australia and the UK. So while, while I sleep, my Australian, I get paid from my Australian team. So this is absolutely true residual income. And how does it work? So basically what it does is it combines data analytics and artificial intelligence. Um, we're basically collecting data. And as you probably know, data is the new gold. You know, we're studying customer habits very similar to Amazon. You know, Amazon started by selling books and they could tell the sort of person by what they read. So, you know, cooking books, travel books, sports books, they got to build up a profile. They knew eventually the vision was to sell everything, but they started on books because they could do that. Um, you know, I don't know whether you, in terms of artificial intelligence, whether you've actually, um, you know, been on like I did the other day, Googling uh, yoga classes or yoga gear, and literally, I go onto Facebook, boom, I get, you know, yoga gear given to me. Um, but they're basically helping uh, me purchase what I'm liking and what I wanted to look at. So, you know, if for me, if I pair of rugby boots turned up, I'd be going, oh, no, thank you very much. But you know, I'm very happy to actually have these suggestions given to me. I, I liked um, something uh, the other week on, I must be the other one month on uh, Facebook to do with cycling. So I have cycling and then cycling Croatia comes up and I'm like, well, that sounds quite nice. I quite like the idea of that. So it's about, you know, it's basically going to help us rather than doing it through books and uh, at, like Amazon do, did, we are actually going to do it um, through um, travel. Um, how does this help us in terms of customers? Um, so in my old company, it basically would took 50% of my time would be on selling, following up and upselling. So I spent 50% of my time on customers and 50% of my time on building the business. Um, this the PRIB does all of this for us so it just takes 50 percent of my time is freed up to actually build this as a business and then in terms of your team you know basically what it does is it makes our job um, so much easier it gets the team started so it does a welcome note it does orientation it does training i mean we have a great support in our in our team anyway you don't need to have like the physical team 
but the the reality of it is is that the way that Holton Bugs has set this up is you don't need anybody else. You get all the training to be able to run this business. It is so simple. It probably takes me, you know, 30th of the time my last business is. So at the, last, the heart of it, we are a tech company. Um, when we're so a hot tech company. So the Prib is the front door for iBoomerang and iGo is the front door for the Prib, right? And iGo stands for I Go for Less and it is a travel um basically a members only travel portal and you might go to me Beverly you know we can't travel at the moment what what you're talking about travel and, and I'm like well it depends what mindset you've got you know consumers have a mindset where they go oh we can't travel um uh, us entrepreneurs go travel is going to be booming back you know whether it's a month two months four months whenever we can travel there's going to be a massive boom because people I've never been in isolation you know, before and I'm dying to go out to Spain and go cycling. You know, this has never happened, but history has shown us after SARS, after 9-11, after any other recession type thing, travel is the major, um, major thing that booms back straight afterwards. So we're, we're basically at the moment building a team, building a database so that, that, so that, um, when, well, so that when travel does come, we're absolutely re ready. So in terms of building a database, we've actually got nearer 600,000 people customers in the, in the platform at the moment um, and that's going to be target wise two million by the end of this year so what we're doing is basically putting people into the prib um, with a free they get for their customers they get their in, they get into the prib for free so it's there's no charge for customers at all which is another brilliant thing and you know at the end of the day this is about being in at ground level in at the start and that's what really excites me about this because it's not what iBoomerang is today, although it's really, really exciting what it is today. It's what it's going to be in two to three to five years. And you're absolutely in the hot seat, as, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, like being asked to be in at the beginning of Amazon right at the beginning. So I'm just now going to um, stop sharing now and I'm going to pass this over to Rob. Rob has basically been doing the business and I've known him for a couple of years. He's absolutely rocking it. Um, and Rob, can you unmute yourself, please? Um, and he's going to basically be taking the presentation from here. So thank you so much. How are we doing, guys? Okay, thanks so much. Beverly, that's awesome. Great job there. Um, and if you don't mind, guys, first of all, a huge welcome to this presentation. I know you've had that already, but uh, that's coming from me as well. And uh, I'm going to try and give you the best uh, bit of value here for the next half of it. Um, just to give you a slight background on me, so you know where I'm coming from. Um, I used to be in the military for 11 and a half years in the parachute regiments, and I came out at the age of 28. Um, and always wanted to make my own luck, um, be my own success or build my own wealth, whatever. And I've always been self-employed. So I've had three different businesses. My first one being Health and Fitness Club. And um, after that, I had that for about 12 years, ran that really quite successfully. I had a guy who wanted to come and buy it two times, but I wouldn't sell until the time was right for me. And then consequently, I've had my latter business has actually been a tree surgery company. And as I'm getting a little older now, I feel that this is... Uh, Definitely the right time for me. Well, I'll be looking for an exit strategy probably for the last five years. And uh, I got introduced to this and uh, actually didn't even get this presentation. I just could see the value with it, looked into it myself, and uh, I was all in. Consequently, I've actually used this platform myself now. Um, was it been 11 times? Two flights, and uh, we're going to talk about the travel as we just spoke about there. And I've done nine hotels, and I've saved one thousand two hundred and sixty-eight pounds So uh, my belief in this and where it's going is through the roof. Right, enough about me. Um, okay, so moving on. So the iGo platform, okay, is awesome because it is the biggest industry in the world. As you can see there, it's saying travel is $8.8 .8 trillion as from last year. So you can put the top three industries together, that is oil and gas, pharmaceuticals and food, and then you can add another couple and you still don't get the size of this industry. Okay, so imagine that we're now having the biggest industry in the world putting that, um, the, putting all the data into our, um, our PRIB, okay? So that's incredible. Now, if you look at some of these figures here, so we've got Asia at 6 billion a day. I'm not gonna read all of them out because you can see them quite evidently, but 6 billion a day, that's $70,000 per second, which is massive, massive money. If you have a crumb of this, it can massively change your family's blueprint, right? So anyway, one thing which I didn't know about um, travel was on the online space that two companies pretty well monopolize the whole of it okay they've got something like 45 sites out there and that's bookings holdings and expedia group and you can see the familiar ones there and there's travelosity and all the others out there they own something like 95 percent of the travel space there so when you're thinking of going on these different sites 
you're not actually beating the system at all. They're just playing around with uh, your IP address because they know where you're shopping, right? So uh, I've, I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but I've actually looked at stuff on, say, Booking.com and, um, yeah, really like that hotel or uh, package, whatever it was. And then I've gone off to check elsewhere, come back to the Booking.com, looking at that same bargain I was looking at, and then it's gone up 20 or 30 pound. And that's just so if anyone can relate to that. So I, what I used to do is just phone my friend up, give him, him, my, him my details, and he would then see um, exactly the same hotel at the original price I was looking at, and he'd book it for me. So that was me thinking I was booking, a, a, you know, beating the system. But so all they're doing is they've got retail prices there, and then they're marking them up or playing around with a certain percentage. And they sort of have to do that because all the advertising and that they have to do and everything else. But what it is with us, we, we come under extreme travel, and they're able to get us wholesale prices and pass them on to us directly. So therefore, we end up looking at things like this. So here's some examples here of New York City, France, and New York City, well, the car rental at the end there. So what we've got is um, Expedia in this case, well, the hotel, exactly the same hotel, exactly the same room, dates, everything's the same. Apart from the Ex uh, Expedia platform, it's 339, and on our site, we're saving $161. Okay, uh, in France, 440 there, and we're saving 310 on our site for exactly the same everything. And then the car there, we're saving $171 for the same car, same duration, same everything, and uh, it's clearly money better in our pockets than theirs, right? Now, one thing with this, um, you can book in any currency. Um, like I've, I was in, on holiday in Thailand when I was doing four of my hotels, um, and I did actually one in, uh, um, Hanoi as well in Vietnam. So uh, I, I was actually paying in Thai baht. Okay, so I chose my currency, used my Thai bank account and my bank card and paid in that sort of currency as well. So it's so, so flexible and really, really cool. Now then, anytime you book anything on these sites or on our site, you always get your uh, confirmation through an email and you get all the information that you would need. And as you can see there, you can see the reservation, the credit, uh, sorry, um, how much your savings have been. But the best, best thing on here is you're getting reward credits, okay? And I just want to elaborate on this just slightly because I think this is um, going to go crazy, right? And what I mean by this is every time we spend money on here, we get um, credits just like Tesco Club Card or whatever it may be. So we end up having free money to spend on this site at a later date when we want. Now then, our customers get this also. And this is quite an evident and important point I want to make here. So our customers get that stickiness to um, carry on using this site as well as having all the bargains and deals as well. Now then, one thing I want to mention that, say I gave this code, my friend, access to this platform, his name is Peter. Peter now starts sharing with uh, other friends, which he's naturally going to do anyway, just like he's done Facebook, just like he, we've done um, LinkedIn, Instagram, Amazon, whatever other platforms are out there, we've, we have actually created and shared that in amongst ourselves and pretty much most of the time got nothing for doing it, okay? But what is gonna happen here in this scenario, if it's not happening right now, it's gonna happen in the very, very near future, that Peter, when he then shares it with his friends and they start sharing it and they start sharing it, okay, are all rewarded for doing it. So they end up having more free money to spend on the site. So what I'm saying here, guys, it's going viral. With us or without us, it's going sort of crazy. And that's so, so exciting to where this will go. Okay then, so this is going back onto this presentation then. So we're looking at your five-star prices or lifestyle at three-star prices. So we've got the core services there. I spoke about two of them already, hotels and cars, but we've also got cruises on there and they come with pretty much um, every type of cruise, uh, river cruises, yacht cruises, um, ocean cruises, and cruise packages. The packages are awesome. Apparently, according to Laurie Spears, who um, is a very credible um, part of the corporate team, we don't, you know, other companies don't do these. And what this actually, ha what, sorry, what actually happens here is we end up buying the cruise at a, a very good rate and a good deal, but you'll get thrown in another free holiday to use later on that year um, within the terms and conditions, which is absolutely awesome. Right then guys, flights are on here. I've taken two of them. They're on here as more courtesy. Sometimes you can get good deals. I think I saved 10 pound on the one uh, flight I took and then the other one cost me 20 pound more, but because the reward credits, it paid me to do it. Okay, so that's, uh, the flights are very sort of cutthroat anyway, and there's not much margins in them. We've got homes on here. Um, that's like an Airbnb style sort of homes. We've got weeks, which are various packages all over the place. Um, every, pretty much most cities and countries. 
um, and they are some really, really good, real good deals there. Marketplace, fantastic offers come on there and we can actually bid on those and get some ridiculous bargains on that. And we've got timeshare with timeshare owners um, putting their properties on this uh, platform also. And, uh, you know, basically to get involved in timeshare normally could cost you thousands, right? Okay, so what we've also got on here is additional lifestyles and activities um, which we can then use so to, and make savings on. So when you look at the theme parks there, say now you're in Orlando, you could get um, you, the Prib doing an upsale for us saying, would we like a taxi ride to, or would it need a lift to our hotel? Um, instantly within the Prib is then um, presenting the Vibe ride in this scenario. Okay, so they're getting the upsells for the Vibe ride, that'll take them to the, the hotel. Um, without you doing anything. You've, all you've ever done is give them a code, right? <laughs> and um, they're then getting upsold that. And then when they're wandering around their holiday, theme parks, restaurants, and other things, again, upsold by the Prib. Again, they're incentivized to buy it because it's cheaper, in which case you end up getting a kickback that way as well. Also, you'll notice on the screen there, it says 110% the difference. So if you found the same hotel, for example, elsewhere on another platform, and it was slightly cheaper, you could then claim this 110% the difference and you get that back in reward credit. So we're guaranteeing to be it cheaper than anywhere else. Okay, Vibe I just mentioned there and we'll talk about that later on, but it goes perfectly with, the trans, uh, with this as well. Okay, so we've got two sites when we look at our iGo platform. We've got the ambassador site or we've got the customer site. The ambassador site will save up to 70 plus percent. The customer site is only half that. So they get up to 35%. Okay, so when you look at this particular um, holiday or hotel on this scenario here, so you've got the Cancun Hotel there, and as a ambassador, okay, I get a four hundred and twenty-four pound saving, sorry, dollar saving in this scenario, and the customer is saving half that. Okay, so they're getting two hundred and twelve. So that looking at the example here, this is me now throwing out a boomerang, a code, and access to a friend of mine or someone I don't even know. It doesn't matter who they are. I've given them access to it. They then have seen a bargain on here, be it this Cancun hotel. They've saved $212. They're happy as Larry of that because that's beaten anything else out there. So they're really, you know, it's a win-win for them, but it's also a win-win for me because I now got $106 coming back my way. So I get half their saving, right? Which is awesome. The other half goes 35% into compensation plan and then 15% into the company to keep that healthy. Right, guys, there's two ways you can actually build this business, all right? You, de you don't need to ever invite anyone to an opportunity call like this, so that's the other way you build it, okay, which I'll mention in a minute. But all you need to do yourself is just give out as many boomerangs, codes, accesses to this platform as you like, okay? In this scenario, let's say this is me on the left there, okay, only having 10 friends. They've worked out that the savings has been $600 per year for the average person going on holiday once a year be it with a family or whatever it is, but they've worked out the saving as being that. The total um, over the 10 is 6,000. So your times that by 10 gives you 6,000 in savings. Half of that comes back to me at $3,000 over the year. Okay, which is awesome. Now imagine um, I have certainly got more than 10 friends. So I give 100 of these codes out and you're looking at 30,000 coming back to me at the end of the year or throughout that year, which is absolutely incredible. Now then, the other way of doing this is inviting people to a call like this and you start building a team. So when we look at this scenario here, don't think, oh, crikey, I've got to get 50 people in my team. This is you just inviting a couple of people, helping them invite a couple of people, and that carries on going, and next minute you've got 50 people in your team only having 10 friends each, all right, and giving out 10 boomerangs. So that's 50 times 10 equals 500 customers or accesses, people who have the code. Um, and you've got the savings there worked out at $600 um, dollars per year. Times that by 500 gives you 575 per day. And at a very small, the lowest override at 10% gives you 58 a day through the comp plan. And that gives you 20,712 for the year. Okay. This, this model here, guys, I can't emphasize enough is so watered down. All right. But, um, but you can certainly get the picture, right? Okay then, so we're talking Vibride. So Vibride now, it's going into the rideshare industry. Now the transport industry is a $1.2 trillion industry. So it's massive. So when we look at this now, we've got the biggest industry in the world bar none, as I mentioned earlier, putting loads and loads of data into our PRIB with all the customers which are gonna go in there and uh, 
as Beverly mentioned, or I can't remember if she did or not, but we're looking at having 2,000, sorry, 2 million plus by the end of the year. Now, we've got Vibe, which is another rideshare company which we partnered with and uh, now is on the Prib and is operating in Florida and Houston and going to be Dallas very shortly. So this is, and it's looking at coming to London by sometime this year, actually. So when you've got this data then put in into the Prib as well, and we'll be talking about that and what that means in a minute, um, but we've also got, you've got three vertical there, you've got four vertical there. So we're looking at um, Boom Mobile. He's done partnerships with a mobile company already. And that at some point this year is coming out. So imagine this, you're the prim, and let's go to four, level four before I say any more about that. But level four could be um, fuel, some fuel sort of company. There's talks happening right now with some petroleum companies. So what we're saying here, guys, if people have got a mobile phone or filling their car up, the PRIB has done all the upsell, you've done nothing. And every time someone does any of those bills, um, filling them up or mobile bills, so they're obviously you're getting a kickback each time that happens. So this is so, so good, right? Okay, so when we look at the rideshare industry, all right? I've already spoke how big that industry is. Now the rideshare in itself is 24.4 billion. All right, we've got 98 million riders and we've got 5.3 million drivers and it's growing. This is the gig economy, right? So loads of people now are looking at multiple income streams as Beverly mentioned earlier on. Um, and this is such an easy way of doing it because all you do is turn your app on, get in your car, start driving. When you've had enough of it, you turn it off and you stop driving. You know, it's just so easy and convenient to do. Now then, how does this, why is Vibe different from Uber and Lyft and other ones out there? Right, with Vibe, it's so good because the app comes with preferences. Now, with these preferences, you can have temperature of the car, whether you like, whether you talk the driver or not, <laughs> whether you want music you want, if you want a male or female driver, and, and a few others, all right? So what we're saying here, it's a good value for the passenger because they can select what type of environment they want to enter the car in, okay? Also, for us and anyone else, we can earn three ways from Vibe. Now, if we drive the car, we can earn money driving. We can introduce someone to drive, which we then earn money that way. And we can introduce money to ride in the car, so the passengers, and we can earn money that way. Now, this is explained here. Okay, so this right now is a um, $100 breakdown. So you can look at that as a percentage. So when we look at the driver in this scenario, he's obviously um, you know, making the fare itself, but he earns 75% of the fare ride, okay? So this is more attractive for the driver straight on the bat because um, Uber and Lyft apparently are around 60%. So the guy's actually earning more money straight off. Now then, every time he makes a fare ride, so someone's introduced that driver, they get $3 or 3% on every fare ride he does. Then the remaining $3 goes into the driving chair pool, so further into the comp plan. Okay, then you've got the rider itself, himself, herself. They've paid the fare ride, but someone introduced the rider. Okay, so that person then gets $3. Probably a lot of this will happen from the drivers itself as well. Okay, but they get $3, 3%, and then the other 3% goes into the ride share pool that way, so further into the comp plan. So every time someone takes one of these vibes, okay, or activates a code, um, a meal is fed through the Boom Foundation, okay, through um, our charity side, which is really, really good. So when you look at the vibe itself, guys, you know, to introduce the driver, you could just be in a, um, an Uber driver, a Lyft driver, and you could literally say to the guy, you know, how much money do you earn when you're at home? And they're like, what do you mean? You know, obviously I don't earn anything, anything when I'm at home. You know, could I show you a way? Would you be open to listening how you could? You know what I mean? By doing exactly the same job you're doing right now. And of course they're going to say yes. And all you do is just give them a, a code and away you go. And that is it. And every time they drive, then you're earning money. It's such a powerful thing. Like just one driver, okay, can be anything from 50 to 80 pounds per week, okay? Um, depending obviously how much they're doing, just on 3%, which is just absolute crazy. Right, guys, do I boomerang or do you boomerang? Absolutely, and I have done 11 times already and will continue to do so. But this slide is more for the point that this is just gonna be a household name. This will be like, did you get that off eBay? Did you see that on YouTube? You know, people are going to be talking, did you um, get that on iBoomerang or did you iBoom it or whatever? People will be talking this, talking about this and sharing it and it will be in general normal conversation, which is, uh, so one thing I'll say on, while we're on this slide, please do not be on this presentation right now wondering if this is for you or not. And then looking back in two years time and you've got people talking around you 
and you could have been involved in it. Okay, so that's really kind of um, appropriate, I think, for me to say that. Oops. Okay then, so how do we get started? All conventional means, we can just literally access websites as so, or you can get the QR codes, which are the very latest ways. You can just literally scan this on the screen right now, and it'll take you to a page where you just put in relevant details, but certainly a code, and you're up and running. Every time someone activates um, one of the codes, we again feed a child in need through the Boom Foundation, which is really, really cool. And then what we've got now is we're gonna talk about the money side of things. Okay, so how much we can actually earn with this and um, how it all sort of works. So when we look at, we've got the way to start, we've got three different packages, which I'm going to talk about a little bit later on. So you've got coach, business and first. And as you look down this scale here, you'll see various numbers and then you've got certain levels on the left hand side there. But how it works is this. So if I introduce a person, let's say if I introduce Beverly just for this scenario, I introduce Beverly, I get paid $90. Okay, then I would help Beverly. Um, introduce somebody I also get paid $18 and she gets paid 90 and it continues to go on like so until I've got no idea what's happening at level six or seven and I'm still paid 12 or 24 dollars at level seven all right which is absolutely incredible now if you see there if everyone just introduced one person I get a grand total on that scenario at 180 dollars but it, I will say this I'll just go one further if everyone introduced two people Instead of that being 180, it goes to an astonishing figure of um, 4,700, neither 62 or $4. Dollars. Okay, so it's massive money to be had on just this side of the compensation plan, which, is, which wasn't here when I first started back in December. So you guys are really, really lucky here. And we're taking advantage of it now, so that's cool. Okay, so another way that you can earn money is when you activate yourself with enrolling two people and you activate the dual team bonus. So this is me at the top here now. I've got a slightly different hairstyle and far better looking in that picture. But I introduce someone to my left, someone to my right. Okay, that then makes me act active in this dual team. And what I then do is then help those people in, um, introduce them to the business and also um, and, go, and so on and so forth. So when I introduce other people and my, my um, colleagues then introduce other, other people, and those people also were giving out boomerangs and people got to make holidays and things like that. And then that 35% comes back into the compensation plan. What we have is customer volume happening below us. Now, this scenario here, we're paid at 25, so we, we get paid on the weaker side and we're getting paid at 20%. So we've got $1,000 coming up the compensation plan this way. All right, so this is so attractive as well. And it, you can see it's capped at two and a half, sorry, um, 250,000 now, which uh, keeps the, uh, the company healthy. And obviously that's some incredible money right there. Um, if you notice on the left there, you've got dual team bonus pays between 10 and 20%. That'll come more apparent a bit later. Okay then, so how do we get started? So we all have to pay $49.37 pound, whatever the other currency it is, I haven't worked that out. But um, this just buys you your license pretty much and your back office and gives you a few little tools to then get going on a business, um, which you then choose one of these three packs. So you can start off on the coach, business, or first class pack. The coach class has limitations because you can only see as a TSA, so the person saving the big savings, someone like myself and Beverly, you can only see hotels, flights, and car rentals. Okay, business class, you get all of coach, but you get cruises as well. First class, you're now getting everything. Coach class, you have 50 boomerangs, codes, accesses to give out to customers um, straight away. And then business class, you have 25 and first class, you have 50. So all the time, first class is giving you the best way and set the, you know, the top way to set up to maximize your money and earn the most money. Now then, that's dual team bonus I was speaking about before. 10 to 20% it was saying before on that, on that uh, example. So this time, let's say we're on coach class building the business and we have $1,000 coming up our way but we're and because we're getting getting paid at 10%, right? But if we were on first class that $1000 is now 1500 and we're doing exactly the same work, right? So what would you prefer? You know, the 1500 or the 1000 obvious, right? But anyway, then we've got the luxury experiences and um, basically first class, you see it two weeks before anyone else, business only a week and then they go on general release. Now then, um, one thing which I want to mention here, you look at the investments to buy this, buy into this business, it's a one-time investment, okay? So you've got coach class, 
is um, $250, which is about 192 pounds. Business class is, as it says there, 500, and uh, that's obviously less than 400. <laughs> and then you got um, first class for this month only is $799, which I think, if my maths are right, around 620, 630 pounds. Okay, so it's, um, you know, that's a one-off investment into a business, which I feel is ridiculously cheap. That's my opinion. People may <laughs> have their own opinion on that, but it's incredible, right? Um, and then the only overhead you have is your $99 or £76 a month subscription. Okay, so that is your only overhead. So you've invested in your business, that's you done, and then your only overhead is just that. You tell me which business is a cheaper overhead than that because I haven't heard of one yet, all right? But it's so, so incredibly cheap to get started into something like this um, with such low overheads and the possibilities are absolutely endless. Um, dare I say it's got more legs than a centipede, right? Um, the only thing which I'll just mention here is we've got, um, say if you came in on coach, basically you, ha you can have, you can upgrade um, to first class or business class within 60 days and only pay the difference in money, all right? And, I'm just now going to ask the question. I'm going to stop share here. When are we starting, guys? <laughs> but no, I'll just give you three numbers, right? Because we've got a few people on this call. Um, number one is that you're ready to go. You see that this is definitely something that you can relate to and you'd like to get started and may have a, a question or two. Okay, but you're 100% you're all in. Number two is you love the concept. Before you went any further, you would like a few more questions and look into it further. And uh, number three is that the business isn't for you, but you'd love the membership site free, okay? And even if you didn't like that, be a three anyway and do a bit for charity and feed the child in need, all right? Um, I'm gonna stop and stop talking now. So if anybody, or Beverly, if you've got anything further to say on this. Um... I think, no, it'd be nice actually. Um, uh, Debbie, I don't know whether you're okay to do a little testimonial on your experience since um, you started I Boomerang from your garden. Yes, very happy to. What's really interesting, I mentioned this on my presentation last night, I live on the flight path and it's been so quiet the last seven weeks and literally every two minutes they're going over again. So don't tell me nobody's traveling. There's something going on in the sky today. It's just literally flown over. You'll probably hear the next one in a minute. But yeah, my, I have to say the thing I love about the iBoomerang model is the fact that customers, you don't even know when you're earning money from your customers. It's a one point of contact. Nobody says no to a free code um, and you're helping them save money. So that really is a win-win. And obviously you earn from their travels. Um, but what I really love is the fact that everybody that does invest and comes in as an ambassador like you and I, really, we're all on the same page and we really enjoy the whole culture and camaraderie and we really, you know, everybody brings something to the table. Um, and I, I love that. We've got such a great team going on here. So absolutely, if anybody's, you know, on the fence, get back to the person that invited you and uh, go through any questions and we'd love to, to help out and see you on our next call. Fantastic. Thanks so much. Well, everybody, um, exactly, exactly what Debbie said, if you get back to the person that invited you with a one, two or three, um, and we can answer any questions. Otherwise, have a super um, bank holiday in the UK um, and enjoy yourself wherever you, else are, you are in the world. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Beverly. Thanks, Rob. That was brilliant. Hey, cheers, guys. Thanks so much for your time. Well done, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, all. That was great. Thank you.